Hi everyone, this is going to be a brief introduction to surface integrals of vector fields. So we already know how to do surface integrals of scalar functions and I've copied that definition right here in the blue box. So this is the familiar formula that we have already for surface integrals of scalar functions. So if you remember, we take f of phi of u v, where phi is our parameterization of the surface s, and we multiply by this length of t u cross t v, which is our normal vector. So we have to somehow take this definition and adjust it a little so that now we can use it for vector fields instead of scalar valued functions. So vector fields are, of course, vector valued functions now. So we want to take some capital F, which outputs a vector, and integrate it. So we immediately run into the problem, well, if we were to try and use this same definition, capital F is a vector. If we multiply it by the length of tu cross tv, that's still a vector. So we, we end up trying to integrate a vector, which we haven't actually talked about. We only know how to integrate scalar valued functions. So we have to come up with a scalar valued function from our vector field. And if you remember, we actually ran into a very similar problem when we were converting from path integrals to line integrals. So just a quick reminder here, a path integral looked something like this, where if we had a scalar function, we just did f of ct and multiplied by the length of c prime. We ran into the same problem when we tried extending this to integrals of vector fields. Well, how we dealt with it was if we have a vector field capital F, we still compute big F of C. And instead of multiplying by the length of C prime, now we just took the dot product. So now the dot product of vectors gave us a scalar value function that we actually know how to integrate. So we're going to be doing the same trick here. So this here was a path integral and this was a line integral. Just a quick reminder. So we're going to be doing the same exact thing here when we make this new definition. So uh, a surface integral for a vector field. Maybe you can kind of see where I'm going here. Let f be a vector field. The surface integral of capital F over S is going to be very similar to our line integral. Now we're just going to switch the length of TU cross TV to a dot product. So the surface integral of F over S. Now remember, S is parameterized by some function phi of uv is. So first off, just the notation is going to be a double integral. And then instead of S down here, we're actually going to put the function phi, which parameterizes the surface. And the reason this is down here in the notation is because we're going to find out that the surface integral of a vector field does slightly depend on the parameterization, just like it did in line integrals. Um, but we'll talk about that in the next video when we start uh, orientation. So the surface integral of f over s is the double integral of over phi of capital F dot ds. So this here is just the notation. Again, the left side, just notation. The actual formula we're going to be using 
Well, D, we're still going to be using D here as the section of the UV plane, which phi maps onto the surface S. So that D is the same as what we're used to. We have F, capital F now, of phi of UV. So we're still going to take our vector valued function and replace x, y, z with our uh, functions of u and v given by the parameterization. And now instead of multiplying by the length of t u v, t u cross t u v, we just dot it with the vector t u cross t v. And just like before, right, we integrate du dv. So this, you know, kind of, it's sort of an extension now of the integral of a scalar function over a surface. Um, and hopefully this is kind of familiar. We did this same exact thing when we were switching from path integrals to line integrals. Now, the only difference between the the in surface integral of a scalar function over a surface and the surface integral of a vector field <laughs> over a surface, right, is uh, this product now. So this is now a dot product of vectors, where here in surface integrals of scalar functions, this was just uh, scalar multiplication. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, it means the steps that we have for actually computing these, right, so this is actually the formula we're going to use to compute surface integrals. And since it's so similar to the formula for computing surface integrals of scalar functions, the steps for actually computing these is going to be very similar. So have the steps written out here, uh, just copied directly from the notes I sent out to everyone. Well, of course, first we have to, you know, come up with a parameterization that keeps showing up over and over again. Some problems might already give you a parameterization, but for the most part, you need to know how to parameterize surfaces. That's why we've covered that before and continue to use it. Okay, so the only difference here, if you have this side by side with the steps for computing surface integrals, the only difference is step three, right? So instead of computing the length of the normal vector, we just compute the dot product of right, f dotted with the normal vector. So again, this is uh, this f here is f of uv when you actually you plug in that parameterization into F. So I kind of shorten the notation here, but uh, this, the capital F here in step three is just that F of UV that you uh, compute in step one. So doing these problems is actually gonna be very similar to the ones that we were already doing in section 7.5. And I will get to an example in one of the next videos.